Three. Ready? Yeah. So this is e-patient Dave, and I am at the InterSystems Joined Up Health and Care uh, meeting in London in June of 2015. And I've just seen a very interesting demonstration of something that I know would have been useful during uh, a, a family medical case recently where it really would have helped us if we had all the information we needed to know neatly organized in a convenient place. Uh, and the product is, uh, a company's called MedOpad. Uh, I honestly have no idea if there are 20 other companies who do something identical. Uh, my attention was just grabbed by how this thing works. So let's uh, set it up and uh, Dan will do a demonstration for us. So, Dan, why don't you just show me what you showed me at lunch a couple of minutes ago? Sure. Well, basically, we have built this so applications for cancer patients. So, they, while they are going through chemotherapy, they can get all the required information about their medications. So, this is as, the Apple Watch, right? Exactly. As well as be able to report all the data to the doctor, so the doctor can get all the information. So, as a patient, you can with the swap, you can see the medication that you have to take in, like at 2 p.m. today. And where's this information coming from? It comes from like a database, which is a secure database that has all the medications for the patients while they're going through a regime of okay. a chemotherapy. So this is not entered in the hospital EMR, right? You enter it, it can, into your system? It can enter into the hospital's EMR and we get it from there, or it can be entered directly to our system independent so of like you a... you have an interface to yes, the EMR? Yes, clinician's yeah. interface, which runs on an iPad. Okay. And uh, it basically also charts and maps all the data the device can create, including your movement data, so that, okay. that this information can support the uh, decision making. So basically, as a patient, you can, if you want to see what you have done, you can go through the, the whole list for the today. Uh, you can report your temperature. For, while you're going through, through chemotherapy, temperature is very important. With the touch of a finger, you can report your temperature to your doctor, so your doctor can see the chart of your temperature or symptoms. Let's say you're taking your medication, sure. you feel like lots of pain or fatigue, you can report that and again like it charts uh, for the doctor. And on the backgrounds, we send all your like movements activity to the doctor. So the doctor see whether you're active today or not. And based on these informations, uh, the doctor can basically make a decision. Uh, every day you can see your adherence. Also your doctor will can, can see your adherence to your medications. Let's say if you fall and you feel bad, uh, with the touch of a finger, you can start like calling your care unit, your hospitals, your clinic, and basically have a conversations with them. Uh, if you fall, you don't do anything, it will send the locations to the doctor or to the nurse so they can come and collect you. This is part of our fall detections functionality. So then there's, then, so the, on the iPad, the doctor has a, a richer view yes. of that, and can the patient see the same? Uh, patients at the moment, no. At the moment, the patients see like what really need, they need to do. Go but today. for the next versions, we are yeah, planning you're, to you're make it available more. for yeah. the patient as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the beauty of the doctor's uh, uh, interface is that he can also remotely adjust the dosage. So if he sees, for in example, the database, in the so database, then what shows up on your on watch, watch yes. reminds you of the medication you have to take right. based on the information you have provided. Basically, this list can get updated uh, in real time. If your doctor says, okay, sure. you have too many, lots of pain, he can adjust it. If you feel like lots of vomiting, he can adjust it. Yeah. And that's whole like a personalized medicine in a way. Sure. And the, um, again, it's, it's a very great interest because of this recent family uh, episode mm -hmm. to know how much interaction there is between the meadow pad system and the hospital EMR, the sure. doctor's record, because uh, I know in the U.S. it's a, it's a huge issue, uh, the vendors trying to control access to the information. Yes, it, it is a challenge also in the United Kingdom and Europe, but uh -huh. more and more I think hospitals see that it has to happen, and we have uh, with a number of vendors agreements where the system can write back to the system, and that's the whole idea. We sure. have to, as, as you very well said, we have to bring all the information, make it available, and all together sure. create the knowledge. Sure. Well, in my, uh, my, one of my slogans that I always talk about is everybody performs <coughs> better if they're informed better. Absolutely. Exactly. Uh, and so the, you know, the world that I've envisioned 
is, I mean, just bottom line, mm-hmm. there can be no question that, you know, after a few years of people getting used to this, there will be evidence Absolutely. that there are fewer disconnects. And if we don't think this is the entire solution for everything, but it's, we call it small data <laughs> that contributes, it's one of the contributors. Yeah. To the knowledge you, you're speaking about. Good. So why don't you let me yes. just say say a goodbye. Um, again, I know every time I talk about any particular product, a hundred people come out of the woodwork and say, what about mine? Well, that's fine. That's just, this struck me as clearly useful and relevant because of my recent experience. Um, I wish we'd had it, and um, I'm looking forward to a world where everybody has access to such things. Thanks. Hope the red button.